Hello everybody, Armatron here, and we're back with Hogwarts Legacy. So we just learned the Transfiguration spell, which we have unlocked all the spells that are available to us now, which is great. Uh, and today we're actually going to go and talk with Poppy. But before we do, I'm sure you can hear the Christmas winter-esque music. I think a change of attire is in order. So we'll do that, and we will meet with Poppy. All right, with our winter gear on, let's uh, head and meet Poppy. I think she is at the three broomsticks and wants to talk with us. They give the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. Uh -huh. Just have a butter beer from the three broomsticks right now. Talk, Miss Gerald. Hello, Adelaide. How are you and your uncle doing? Very well, thanks to you. Oh. The more I learn about Ranrock's foul lot, the more astounded I am that my uncle survived. I looked back over his old owls and noticed that they included pertinent details about his rare metal deposits. I believe that Ranrock's fiends were after those deposits and that they needed my uncle's knowledge. Oh, interesting. He was willingly going to rot away in that cell to keep me safe. Huh. Any other pertinent details about those owls? Plenty. Uncle Roland couldn't be certain, but he thought he overheard goblins talking about infusing something into goblin silver. He wasn't sure what they meant, but something about the way they spoke of it made his skin crawl. Interesting. Oh, it's clear you saved my uncle from a very bad lot. It was nothing at all, Adelaide. I'm just glad your uncle's safe. So am I. Seeing him again was such a relief. I told him that he must remain vigilant from now on. I, for one, can't help but look over my shoulder now whenever I leave the castle grounds. Oh, well, I'm glad he's doing better. Oh, and it's snowing. Who would have thought and someone you know as what? young as me could save my Let's uncle's life? Let's take a ride to see Poppy. We're going to do it. Not on our broom, but on our... Time for a jaunt, I'd say. That's true. That Let's go! Come on. You can go higher. I know that you can. It's a little bit quicker going higher when you're moving. Okay. That's good to know. Very cool. I like the little purple violet wings. Awesome. There's Hogsmeade. That's a dive bomb if I've ever seen one. Gosh, it's so hard to control on the ground. Time to go a little quicker. Oh, can't enter while well, I did fine. There we go. Okay. All right. I wonder what Poppy's gonna have us do. It probably has something to do with the dragon egg that we have. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You Over here. There she is. Hi, Poppy. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. Mm. I've never it's known poachers guessing. to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures. Exactly. Merlin, yep. I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That sounds like a good idea. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Ooh. Rockwood is working with Ranrock. 
and Renrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Vic had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. Oh, thank I you. shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Oh, so this is another one where we have to wait for the owl. Oh. Great, so now we can't really do anything with that. Let's head outside. Let's look at our quests. Oh, so we have both of these. Let's actually do Mum's the Word. We'll actually get it started. Divination classroom, okay. Hopefully we don't have to wait for this one too after we start it. So frustrating. If there's any chance that the relic from Slytherin Spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Oh. That's a, a new one. Do we just get another quest? In the shadow of time oh interesting get imperio for this one nice uh let's finish mum's the word right now though you wanted to speak with me mother i had hoped to speak with you alone natsai your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near hogsmeade that could have been anything you know what it was natsai I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. <laughs> careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an arrow telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against oh. dark wizards. Oh no. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned. But you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, Father would still be with us. Oh. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. Why are we just smiling the whole time? So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus. Oh. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Cool. Oh, yeah, let's ask her some questions about this. This is interesting. Were you born an Animagus, or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu. But Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. <laughs> really? Yeah, so did she get to choose? Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's Animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Hmm, that is cool. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. 
I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about mm -hmm. it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Oh. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Huh, interesting. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. You're welcome. Is that the the end of that one? Did we finish it? Uh, I'm gonna look. Yeah, it looks like we finished it. It was just a conversation, so... Uh, we started the other one and we just finished this one with Natty, so I think we'll call it a day right outside the Transfiguration Classroom. Talk with you all soon. Bye.